if you want to know how a market's performing, then the answer is you ask one of the leasing companies. They have their fingers right on the pulse. And I'm with the chief executive of BOC Aviation, one of the world's top five leasing companies and certainly at the top of Asia. And Robert Martin, you can tell me now, Asia Pacific, how's it going? In Asia Pacific, we're seeing very good market growth at the moment. The demographics are very good. The economies are growing well. And so we will see Asia Pacific becoming the dominant market during this decade. Because, of course, there's always been a lot of focus on the U.S. market as the, as the biggest thing. Is Asia Pacific going to overtake that? It's purely a matter of population growth and demographics. Yes, it is. If you look at the number of cities here in Asia Pacific with more than a million people, it dwarfs the number in North America. If we look at the types of aircraft that you're interested in now, because the manufacturers are vying with their, their new engines and things, are you supportive of that? And do you push the, air, the manufacturers as well um, to get the right aircraft for the right jobs? Yes, you've got to remember that we look at it through the eyes of an investor in aircraft. And so we're very, very focused on aircraft that our customers are going to want to use and also very importantly that eventually we're going to be able to sell with lease attached to investors. So we look at it from those two perspectives. And you said at the beginning about uh, being in the, in the top five in the world, your customers are spread out as well. You're not just focusing, even though it's backed by Bank of China, um, you're focusing on global markets. Correct. We're a very global company. If you look at our portfolio today, um, I would say it's well spread across Asia Pacific, Europe and the Americas. So whenever we choose an aircraft, we want to make sure it's got global applicability when we come to place it with customers. And in terms of your own company's performance, how are you doing financially? Oh, the company has done very well. Um, if you look back over the last 10 years, we've averaged around about mid-teens return on equity. And we went through an IPO a year and a half ago, and we're now listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. And if we look towards the future, and you're based in Singapore, despite being a Bank of China-based company. Um, Tell me what you see the future being, Singapore being so great with its digital transformation. What do we get in the future? Okay. Well, the first thing to remember is Singapore sits between the fastest growing markets in the world, particularly sort of if you look at China, you look at India, and look at ASEAN. These are markets that are going to continue to grow. We're going to see further trade open up between these countries, which I think is going to drive further growth across the whole Asia-Pacific region. So as, a, as an investor, is aviation a good business to be in? Definitely aviation is a good business. It's been around for over 100 years now. Operating leasing is a relative newcomer. It's really only been around for 30 or 40 years. But now there are many different ways you can invest in the aviation infrastructure, and operating leasing is just one of those. Robert Martin, thank you very much for your time.